Hello, today I would like to demonstrate fireside chat in LLM interface in pure Rust using Hugging Face Candle over Axum WebSockets, an SQL Lite database, a Leptos Wasm frontend packaged with Tower. I used to call this project Candle Chat in homage to the wonderful MLAI library which is being used for inference, Hugging Face Candle. The name was not favored by my alpha stage reviewers, and the name Fireside Chat was suggested. If you saw my earlier videos, you will notice that some minimal effort has gone into making the app look a little better. This has not been the main focus of my time, and many improvements should be made on that front. The more exciting developments have been the addition of an SQLite database for storing conversations, and packaging everything with Towery for cross-platform deployment. For the beta stage, I am only delivering Linux install options, because that is what I use both for work and as my daily driver. I would be very eager to accept pull requests for Mac and or Windows CI builds with GitHub Actions. When testing these beta releases, I recommend opening the Debian installed binaries or app image with the command line in order to see debugging info. The UX is not fully polished, but I hope that the setup options are fairly self-explanatory. You will need to choose a model. I suggest using the quantized models as they are faster, especially if you are using an NVIDIA CUDA GPU. The quantization level is fixed at Q5K, which I have found to work well. However, I will add a select element for changing that in the near future. Since my last video, I have added support for Phi models and will be adding a lot more models of various types as time permits. Models can be organized by tags, so in the future you will be able to choose models based on your need without needing to be familiar with the eccentricities of each model. Conversations are organized by user, and I will add a select for choosing from existing users soon. I found a nifty public domain database for roles on Kaggle, so there are a ton of new options that work with any of the models that support prompt templating. This ability will be indicated by tags in a future release. You may also notice that the models will sometimes produce more content than is being used by the response. This additional content can be used to create suggestions for follow-up questions or other features, depending on the model. Right now, the model only remembers one interaction back in time. Soon, I will add an option to allow users to set how many prior engagements should be considered for answering the present query. If you have time, interest, and inclination, I would be grateful for any contributions which improve the app without adding too much complexity. That's about it for today. Have a great one!